outside I like to call hot. It's really hot. Um, I just got done my shift of work at the oil shop. And we always drive to the bank and then, you know, my coworker drives behind me so that we're all safe. It's like a $15 deposit, but oh well. Um, so today, <laughs> in the office, I was sitting down and I was writing down, I forget what I was writing, but I was writing something. And I hear, and I hear like this huge like buzzing and I'm like, what in the hell is that? And I look up at my office windows, there's three of them and they kind of, they're like those Anderson windows where they don't push up, they go out. So they kind of open and like, I don't know. Um, well, the center one doesn't open. The center one has an open sign right in the middle of it. And uh, there was a ginormous, what it looked like was a wasp. And it had blue wings. It was mainly black. It was, I mean, it was like this big, if not larger. Its wingspan was like that. It was huge, but it wasn't like a dragonfly or anything, because I know what they look like. It was not a dragonfly. I'm checking the battery. Okay, it looks like I'm good. Because I got shitty batteries, and so they die quickly. Um, I'm working on finding some cheap rechargeable ones, which I may invest in. Um, but for now, we have these. Oh my god, it's hot. It's really hot. Anyway... So, I'm not ashamed to say that I screamed and I ran out of the office. I have a little bit of a phobia around bees. Me and bees, we don't get along. Anyway, so I ran like hell and Tom comes in. Tom's like my absolute favorite person to work with. Um, not because he works hard, but because I talk to him a lot. And don't get me wrong, I love all the guys I work with, but... Tom's my favorite. He also is from the same area that Ange is from in Michigan, so it's kind of like he knows people that I talk about, like, or I know people that he talks about or whatever, and so, I don't know, he's just, he feels almost like family or like really good friend, and he has since the first time I worked with him, but anyhow, so I love working with Tom, and I'm not afraid to be a little sissy bitch in front of him. I was like, Tom! And he came running, and he's like, huh. And um, he killed it. I got a shift, sorry. Stick shift, and I'm trying to vlog. Um, so he killed it for me, which... I know this is going to sound like a complete contradiction, but I felt so bad after he killed it. Like, I literally felt, like, sad. I was like, please, dear God, take that soul up to heaven and give it the love and respect it didn't receive here on earth. Because I just made somebody kill it. And I'm saying that with a tone, but it's like, I'm serious. I say that prayer anytime I see, like, roadkill, an animal on the side of the road. And even sometimes when I kill spiders, I'll say it. Now, why do I say this? I don't say prayers normally, but it's kind of my way of saying a prayer to the universe, to the providence, to the higher power. Like, take care of that soul. It's my way of showing respect for that soul more than anything else. Do I say God? Yes. Do I necessarily believe in the God and white robes and pearly gates? Not necessarily, but that's not what's important. It's recognizing that soul and respecting that soul. So that's why I say it. And I can't stand, like, I hate bees, but I still felt so bad. Because I've been thinking a lot recently about... Sorry about the shakiness, people. I've been thinking a lot recently about the BSL and the legislature specific to breeds uh, and dogs. And they deserve rights. Animals do. But where do we stop that? Where does that... I mean, then are we not... I mean, what? how does that apply to cattle? They're animals too, they're souls. How does that apply to pest control? They're bees, they're bugs, ants, termites, all that shit too. And I don't know the answer, but it's just been on my mind a lot lately. But especially something that somebody posted on Facebook about pits. Um, 
my humans fought me. They cut my ears off. They cut my tail off. And I'm the one that gets a bad rap. I'm the one that gets banned. And it has a picture of a pit bull looking at you. And it's so true. It's like... But then, how does that apply to everything else? Because, for all we know, the weight of a dog's soul may have just as much... Or mean, it means just as much as the weight of a bee's soul. But... Is it just because dogs are cute and cuddly that I feel so strongly about it? Why do I feel this way? And even though I'm not questioning how much I believe that dogs deserve rights and that they don't, we don't deserve dogs, humans, I, I don't know. I don't know how the rest of it works or should work. I, I honestly don't know. And I guess that's okay because nobody else does either. Or maybe you guys have feelings about it. I know Ange won't kill a spider that's in our house because they kill mosquitoes and she hates mosquitoes. But, like, I'm petrified of spiders and I'm petrified of bees, so I kill them. But it's, it's tough. It's tough when you're dealing with rights and not even all humans have the same rights. So how does that... I don't know. I don't know. I'm rambling, but I'm just kind of putting my thoughts out there on my way home to work because a lot of this stuff sits heavy on my mind. I know last night especially as I was going to sleep I was just like my god like really as a society do we always have to have something to push down so that we can feel okay about ourselves? Really? Because it sucks. <laughs> It sucks that there's always somebody who's the whipping boy of society. And somebody could be a human, an animal. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a soul. And it deserves respect. And we don't honor our companions by banning them. And by letting them take the fall for our behavior. We don't honor the animals that we don't deserve to be masters of. Because, frankly, my dog's a better person than I am. I mean, if you took away all of society's laws and rules and everything, would we still be as good as we are? Alright, hang on one sec. I gotta drop off the bag. The battery's gonna die. I'm gonna put new ones in so that it doesn't cut me off when I'm mid sentence. I hate it when that happens. like it's thinking about dying, but it hasn't quite died yet. Are you going to die, little battery? Feels wasteful to cut it off before it dies. Really? Do I need to see your underwear, Mr. Man on the bike? Is that necessary? I mean, I'm all for a little grown man sag, but... Do I need to see your crack? No. I think this is gonna die soon. <laughs> 